picture this. You spent hours, maybe even days, creating a design in Figma that you're super proud of. It's clean, professional, and exactly how you imagined. But then you hit a wall. How do you take that design and actually turn it into something functional without spending ages coding? That's where today's topic comes in. Lovable, a platform that helps you build apps in minutes using AI, has just launched a new feature that connects directly with Figma. With this integration, you can import your designs straight into Lovable, tweak them with a few clicks, and have a fully editable professional app ready to go. I've been playing around with this feature ever since it came out, and I can't wait to show you how it works. By the end of this video, you'll be able to know exactly how to take your designs from concept all the way through to reality without the stress or long hours of coding. It's simple, it's powerful, and it's going to save you a ton of time. So whether you're building apps for maybe work or a side hustle, or you're just learning and just doing it for fun, stick around. Trust me, you do not want to miss this. Alrighty, so just to start, what is Figma? Figma is probably the most popular UI user interface design tool. It allows you to design what a website, what a web app, what an application will look like. As you can see over here with the example we've got, we have our layout, our design of our website. In this case, it's you know a organic farmer's market type of website where you can buy you know goods like tomatoes and ginger, and obviously it's all organic, but it's the design of here. So each aspect can be clicked on and worked on. So you can change you know text, you can change layout, you can change what buttons will look like, what you know the entire color scheme will look like. You can change the different options at the top of the, the menu. So you develop out in Figma exactly how you want your user interface to look like. You'll also see what we have over here is the different pages. So in this case, we've got a home page, a shopping cart page, and a product page, and you can add multiple pages to this. So you can do the full layout of how a website should operate. So when we go and click on, you know, the, the shopping cart, the basket, it will populate this page. If we click shop, maybe we'll bring us back to the home page, um, you know, and we can add in pages for different different products or different aspects we want to showcase. And we can literally develop out the entire design. So you could basically, if you put the hand tool on, you can drag through here and you can understand each page, what it will look like. Alrighty, so we know what Figma is. How do we connect it to Lovable? On Lovable's x.com page, they put out this post, right? So you can now go from Figma design to pixel perfect full stack app just by prompting Lovable. And it uses a third party application called builder.io in order to make this happen. So Figma to builder.io to Lovable to develop out our functionality. How do we do this? So in Figma, like I said, we can adjust each component of the UI. What we wanna do first is we wanna install builder.io or we wanna integrate builder.io very simple go to builder.io forward slash app you'll hit this page once you sign up it's free and you'll go to get figma plugin click this install it it installs the plugin and then you come back to figma over here when you go to the uh, this little actions tab you can basically into you can well you can select the plugin builder.io so you may just need to search for it for the first time but once you have it you'll have it under your recents so what you want to do is any of these pages, any of these components, we can import that as code natively into Lovable and basically then create our functionality from that. So in this case, for all the shopping carts, I'm gonna select everything because we wanna import this entire shopping cart. We're happy with what it looks like in terms of this page. We wanna import that into Lovable and then we can work on our functionality. So we've basically, you'll come to this little bar here, you'll click the little move cursor and you'll select then you'll come down here to the actions tab. You'll click builder.io. And what it will do is it will give you a couple options. It will give you export mode, easy or precise. I would, uh, I would suggest start with easy just because it's simpler and then say export to code. So what it's doing now is it's analyzing every single layer within Figma and all the different components and all the different, basically um, the, the exact layouts, how far each aspect is, each component is from each other. And it's compiling that into code that is then going to be imported into Lovable. So I'm going to wait until this just finishes and then we'll see the result. Alrighty, once that's finished, it will give you two options. So you want to choose your preferred option. What's awesome about this is you can actually scroll, right? You can actually scroll through these pages. This is obviously 
desktop, this is mobile app, and you can see the layout is a little bit different. So if we look at this bottom one, I don't like how close to the edge for the mobile app this sits. And then it's so wide over here. This is a lot better because it's a lot, uh, you know, we've got those white edges on the sides. So definitely this is my preferred option. So you'll click on that and then you've got success. So you're going to say view code in Builder or you're going to go open in Lovable. So we're going to go and click open in Lovable. It's now going to export that code into a Lovable project and then will open up automatically. For the first time, you may just need to connect your Lovable account. But once you've connected it, it's all just connected. Figma into Builder.io into Lovable. Alrighty, so I'll wait till this loads into Lovable and then we'll have a look at how it's looking. Alrighty, so it's loading up in Lovable and it's doing what Lovable does. It's coding it so you can obviously watch the code be built and then it's going to, be, it's going to spin up a preview for us. So you can see I've now imported the files into this project. And if there's you know any knowledge, context or custom instructions, you can obviously instruct it what to do. But if you have a look over here, here's our exact page right into Lovable. And obviously, if we hover over these buttons, they're not going to be working at the moment. So we can add functionality to them. But basically, OK, the continue to payment button you can see is clickable, but it gives you that full design. So when you start with Lovable and you, you give it a prompt and you say you want to design out an organic food, you know, website where you can purchase organic products, it will do its best job to give you something. But we've seen in the past how simple that starting UI looks. And this, I think, is, you know, this is kind of reverse engineering. It's starting with the design. You design it exactly how you, wanna, how you want it to look. And it's in Figma. It's not, you're not using any code. You're just designing it beautifully how you want it to look. And once you've done that, you can then import that as code into Lovable and then say, okay, hey, listen, these top buttons, when you click shop, I want it to load this page. I'll give you the code for it. And you can take that from Figma and you can do the, the exact same thing. And when I click uh, new stand, I want this page to load or I want this function to happen. And there you go. The full integration between Figma and Lovable, the ability to design beautiful looking UIs within Figma and import those straight into Lovable using the best practices and everything Figma has to offer and, you know, enhancing that with the ability that Lovable gives us to develop out these fully functional applications using no coding experience. If this was beneficial to you, like it was for me, definitely go out, let me know in the comments what you guys are building. Anyone can be a builder these days. I always say it. If you want to be a solo entrepreneur, you can. If you want to build out a piece of software, you can. You don't need to know how to code. If this helped you, definitely consider liking and subscribing. It does a lot for the videos. Over 95% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. So if you got some benefit out of this, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.